Hi Steve, here to, we're here today to talk about the secret of your throw. It's been well documented, you've had one of the best rhythms in world darts for, well, probably over three decades now. So uh, let's start with the what I see is the most fundamentally strong part of your game, your rhythm. How did you, uh, how did you end up with your rhythm? Um, well, I've always sort of been a, a quick player anyway. Um, and um, it's just like I find it a lot easier with a rhythm than, than taking me time on every every dart. So the main thing really is my first dart. Once the first dart's away, the other two just follow through them with it. And have you worked on that consciously, or is it? Uh, have you counted it? Have you got any mind games you use to sort of ready, aim, fire that kind of thing? Or um, I think like most, just most sports. I mean, snooker. I'm, I'm pretty quick at round the table at snooker and. And different sports like that. I think it's the same with darts because you practice that much. I can't be slow. I, you know, I'm up there, bang, 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 bang. And you'll find quite a lot of players are quick, but it's just controlling that quickness, really. Yeah. And as a result of that rhythm, you've then arrived at a certain technique. Um, talk to us a bit more about how you keep your technique in check. Um, the throw, really, just, it, like I say, it's me, it's me first throw. It's me first arrow that's the most important. So you concentrate everything, you put everything into that first dart and the rest follows. Yeah, because obviously if you can get the first dart you just even in the treble or just above it, the other two make, it makes the other two a lot easier. And how do you feel in, you sort of in, when you're thrown in terms of feelings? Do you feel you have a good extension? Do you feel you have a level shoulder? Is there any, are there any tips that we can give to our, our, our fans watching about how to help their technique? Um, Technique-wise, really, just... Getting them in, into the middle of the board, getting yourself lined up properly, and um, keeping the, the throw as, as straight as possible. Really, uh, and uh, you, your grip is quite unique. Um, we've seen it before in some other videos, but let's have another look for the benefit. Of this video, you you hold the dart pretty much right at the very back and the shaft, don't you? Yeah, because I always think I, I need to push against something. If I was holding down the actual shaft, I keep thinking it's going to slide at my fingers. Okay, so that's why um, the shaft at the back. That's why we're in doing the rings now as well is is so I've got something to push against and I find that and so your easier. your technique is always a pushing motion then yeah yeah and also you obviously you've got to make sure you follow right through it's it's so easy just to stop I mean if you if you took a stone you wouldn't just stop there you'd actually throw your arm and it's the same with the dart you've got to make sure you go right right through with it and so it's a nice pushing motion and you're a tall man you're six foot three um your posture when you're on the hockey do you take any notice of how you're standing and the main thing is to make sure you're standing still. It, it, you, all you want to be moving is your arm. I mean, so many people you watch them, and the whole body goes. I mean, jockey was a typical example. You know, everything went with it. You know, um, so the main thing is getting yourself lined up, getting your right foot down solid. I always do that. Sometimes your left foot might move a little bit, but if you can get your left foot solid as well, and then all you're doing is just moving that arm. Then, really. So a nice, really nice, stable base then. Yeah, because you've got less to go wrong then. If your body's moving, anything can go wrong. Okay. And your alignment, we, when you first came to us here at Winmore, you used to stand in a very different position to what you do now. Um, and we did some sight right work with you in terms of getting you into your um, your own eye line and the, and the right sighting line for you. Yeah, I mean, the sight right was, was, was brilliant because I did stay, I, I was quite quite way over to the right. And you were surprised by that, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean... It, it, when I, because it's funny you pointed out, you, you said, "Do you think you're straight?" And I'm, th I'm thinking, "Yeah, I'm straight." Yeah, you did. We we actually had a good discussion. But there. then when you see on video, you, you, I'm about foot, foot out. So once as I, I tried it at the beginning, it was a bit awkward because because you obviously I'm I'm feeling. Well, like your weight of throw is changing yeah. then, isn't it? All of a sudden, you. But it does straighten your arm up. You see. So before I was sort of going across, now I'm I'm throwing dead straight down. And have you seen that, as, as that resulted in straighter darts, a more consistent score? Yeah, and also, I mean, if you can get the, the dart straight, you've got less chance of going, obviously, the ones and the fives. Yeah, so, so the, all the dreaded to, drift, it's yeah. Just, it's just the weight then, and getting the weight right. Brilliant. And all, all of these things culminated all together, help you deal with pressure. Have you got any other tips that help you deal with pressure when you're up on the hockey? Um, pressure is all different. So, I mean... Big TV tournaments, you know, you've got to get that you know, double you know, at the end. I think mainly it's when it's coming down to finishing, you've got to make sure you plan your route. I mean, if you, if you suddenly you miss the ball and you've got 25 left, you've got to think, right, nine, double eight. And if, even if you go wrong, you've got to think where you're going to go next instead of having to stop. Because I'm a rhythm player, I make sure I'll go bang, bang. 
Yeah, you not. don't want to be stopping. So no, that's keep it. That, keep, so it's back to your rhythm again that helps you. So any, for any finish you're on, you want to plan ahead. So if you hit a single, you know exactly you're going to go for a ball or that treble and then that double. So clarity of thinking and know your finishes. Yeah, definitely. Steve, thanks for that. Brilliant. We hope you enjoyed the video.